Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Marty G here, just talking a little bit of uh, Paragon. Guess what? The age of intellect is upon us. My sensitivity on my mouse is already super ridiculous. Okay, we're back. Alright, the people emerge from the wild with dreams of changing the world. The more they learn, the higher they climb. Uh, version 40 is launched, bringing the newest hero, which is FaZe, as you see here. Uh, 15 hero updates, the Nova Grey Greystone skin, 30 plus card updates, and much more. Jump in and check out all of the new changes now. Okay. Well, sure, we'll do that. Uh, what's this? Mega monthly mega vault. Open these mega vaults to get. Oh, do I just have to get? Ah, oh, star milestones. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. I'm fine with that because I'm always down to get more golden crate keys anytime I can get that. Go ahead and grab that chest there. So one thing that I did want to show you guys real fast. Uh, the new character obviously is Phase, and I put together. Ooh, look, nice, nice little changes here and there. Nothing too extravagant, but nice, nice little neat things. Um, as you can see, I have six loot crates but no keys. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I thought would make for a decent phase deck. And, uh, of course, you know, if you think that, uh, for, you know, any purposes you can do anything better, let me know. Let me know what I can change. Um, I'm going off by a standard, um, or by a, uh, um, an 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 5, uh, with my 5 being the bubble tap. But uh, my 11s are going to be Ash of the Witch uh, because her abilities um, are pretty much her bread and butter. And if I can slow them and not only her uh, slow them further with her one, uh, her slow, um, I be I can then slow them with the uh, with the blind um, and all sorts of stuff. You know, I'll be able to actually mix that up. I think that would actually help her out just a little bit. But then of course, that's late game. Uh, Cast Converter. This is the first card that I'm trying to aim for. Uh, the quickest, and it's probably going to replace my um, my early game circlet. The only reason being is it offers me a lot more health uh, regen at once, and it has a pretty fast cooldown. It's 45 seconds, um, which is, you know, in my opinion, a little a little too good. It's probably going to get nerfed to at least 60, uh, if not more. But um, with her, her link, she passes on her health regen to another character. And so if you have this cast converter, you're able to just suddenly uh, jack up your health regen to well in this case it'd be somewhere over 50 and that's not only for you but for your teammate as well um, because that means they're going to be able to get your health regen for 10 seconds um, and get that that huge boost and that's good for those fights um, and that'll definitely go with for instance uh, my other 11 cost card here the barrier of will um, I'm stacking a lot of mana in this deck because I just never want to run out of mana but I also have a few cards that are uh, you know like bubble tap really good for the mana hydroverser if I want to just swap in a couple cards late game, I can you know take that side of the bubble tap and uh, you know just get some power just to just to kind of you know enhance my carry a little bit if I have to. But the team shield is probably the big one that uh, between that and the cast converter are gonna or what is gonna make this character. Um, all the health regen to, to a single target is gonna be incredible, and uh, the barrier will be able to you know help her influence the fight a little bit. She will get in there, um, you know stop that damage where it needs to stop. Um, attach yourself to a weak target, maybe maybe the carry if he's if he's uh, bursted in and you, he's already been you know already been destroyed. His shields have already been destroyed. So you link onto him, give him a huge burst of health with the cast converter. See if he lasts. If he's still not going to last, there's still no picks. You always have her ability to pull someone out of the fight. You know, you want to yank someone out of the fight, swap targets, and give it a few seconds of cooldown and bring him on back in. I think it'll work out really well. Um, one of the things I have here is clear heart. I think that's actually going to help a little bit. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to play this card just yet. Uh, maybe probably late game just so that way I can increase the cast converters um, Heal which gives you know them a little more heal, but it also gives me a little little bit of mana regen not much uh, But I think that'll help just a little bit with my large mana pool. It'll help keep me with constantly flowing mana um, uh, Gift of the rains is probably gonna be the beginning of uh, My health regen probably gonna be my um, early early to mid game health regen that I'm gonna uh, introduce because it's gonna be uh, over 10 uh, health regen at some point uh, in the early to mid game so that way you're able to keep your carry alive and keep them sustained um, over a few fights and circlet of health is definitely going to go towards that as well because that gives everyone 2.8 uh, health regen um, to everyone inside the entire map uh, who's on your team so What's good about that is you are stacking health regen on yourself, but as well, you're stacking on whoever your link is on. Helps then so that way you can keep all your teams you know, alive. And I think that's the main thing about 
This character is, and you know, anytime she uses one of her abilities, she gets a spike of 30 health regen, which I think is pretty much good enough to carry her health regen by itself because of that huge, huge stack, huge amount. Not to mention that health and healer tokens just give them enough to be able to survive a little more. My carry, my my mid laner in, in that in those crucial fights. Um, but overall, I, I think her main goal is to keep your team healthy. Not necessarily to keep your team uh, alive, because that's not always going to be able to happen. In this game, you know, when team fights happen, you know, when team fights are initiated, you're just trying to get the best positive overall if you can. You're trying to net the most. Uh, kills overall or or at least gain a, a tower or two something you're trying to get the positive so in that team fight you know you're not necessarily going to be able to keep everybody alive but you'll be able to keep the right people alive and you'll be able to get enough picks to make it so that way you have the advantage going into the next team fight if not kill enough people to be able to push through to the end and you know i think through good rotations this character can be definitely utilized as just a, an overall healer instead of just one spot healer. He goes around a little bit to, to make sure you can heal up everybody. Give them a big health boost to make sure they get up to, you know, a decent level for the next team fight. Uh, and then anybody wants to back in and out of Raptors, you know, I grab a hold of a target that needs healing. That might, you know, might be crucial in a fight that's about to happen. Or Prime, you know, we're, we're uh, 5v3, but those three guys on the opposite team want to come in. You know, I want to make sure that we're not going to lose a pick just because we want Orb Prime. And I think that's the main thing with this character I'm going to try. Um, and, of course, we have our gift, or just, you know, stupid trash ward we'll, we'll throw out. Um, and this might end up in a fairly decent decent part by the end of the, the game, but I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, but, again, plenty of mana if I can. That's that's the main goal. In fact, I need more mana for Nature's Muse, um, which, is, which is another nice card. Uh... You know, in fact, we're actually going to get rid of that health. And we're going to do... No. Oh, I guess I can't. I guess it won't matter. Yep. I, I get the mana regen as the upgrade bonus. Which isn't bad. But the, the active is really what you're, what you're looking for. Oh, that's the other thing uh, that I did not add that I was thinking about. And I can get rid of a couple cards to make this happen. Is the Quenching Scales. Good card. Universal card. Uh, something that I think could really help out with this with this sort of this player uh, the the spot healing like that the the instant healing isn't gonna be what's gonna make her strong what's gonna make her strong is health regen overall but quenching scales is just definitely a good card to take and then then you wonder what do we do we gotta get rid of one of those we'll go and get rid of one of those um, we need to be able to get up to we'll go and get rid of our trash ward I'm not interested in it and you know we will actually go ahead and get rid of the that as well Gives us four cards that we can stack. Do we do... Yeah, we'll just do three of those. That'll work. That puts us at seven on that card. You know, it, it'll fit somewhere. Um, actually, you know what? We will do higher to make this equal 11. So we need, we can spend seven, which would be like three, six, seven. Probably a fine way of doing that. Or two, two, three. Yeah, we'll do two, two, three. We can do two, two, and three. That's mana regen, mana regen, mana regen. Cool. Do we have any, like, cool? No, we don't. Darn you, Chronos, for not having any cool-looking art cards. Um, so that'll be uh, 11, 11 cost quenching scales, which will probably end up probably in that position. More so than the Nature's Muse will, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I guess it can always replace the this card. Gives us extra healing, but you know what? It, it, the Quenching Scales is probably enough for the heals by itself. Uh, but I think that's going to do for the deck build. I'm going to play uh, you know, a solo match that will be up immediately after this video. Well, not immediately. It'll be up shortly after this video. Um, I'm also going to do a little bit of matches with uh, my good friend Casey. We're going to try to see what we can get into you know, some PvP, but at least some uh, um, player versus AI to you know give her a shot. And uh, see how she really works with uh, someone you can communicate, a good carry like that. Um, so until then, guys, I really appreciate you uh, checking out my videos, and I appreciate you checking out the build. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. Thank you very much.